in this session we are learning about profitability ratio operating profit ratio okay so the profitability ratios measure the profitability or operational efficiency of the firm that these ratios reflect the final results of the business operation the results of the firm can be evaluated in terms of its earning with reference to a given level of assets or sale or the owner's interest okay so therefore profitability ratios are broadly classified into three categories profitability ratio required for analysis from owner's point of view profitability ratios based on assets and investment profitability ratio based on the sales of the firm okay so this operating profit ratio is a profitability ratio based on sales of the firm okay so what is the operating profit ratio as the name itself suggests operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit upon sales into 100 okay so what is operating profit operating profit is equal to your sales minus cost of sales okay so cost of sales means all the expenses that are incurred for the purpose of the business okay till the point of sales it doesn't include any non operating income or non operating expenses okay which are of non recurring nature or non operating expenses which are of uh, which are not incurred on the for the purpose of your business okay such expenses are not included while calculating operating profit so whatever is the profit that is earned from the business okay basically that is considered here now let's see one example given below is a profit and loss account of sevak limited profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2017 you have particular sum amount particular sum amount then on credit side we have by sales net of excise 12 crores by closing stock 75 lakhs so total of credit side of profit and trading account is 12 crores 75 lakhs then on debit side we have two opening stock 50 lakhs to raw material consumed 4 crores to wages and salaries 2 crores to manufacturing expenses 1 crore 50 lakh to gross profit 4 crores 75 lakhs then the same gross profit is carried down by gross profit 4 crores 75 lakh by miscellaneous income 50000 by profit on sale of investment 50000 by interest and dividend from investments 1 lakh so your total of credit side here is 4 crores 77 lakhs okay then out of that we have two salaries 50 lakhs to stationery 2 lakh to printing advertisement 4 lakh to postage and telephone 50000 to electricity 50000 to selling and distribution 1 lakh to interest 90 lakhs and net profit is 3 crores 29 lakhs okay now we have to pro prepare and find out operating profit ratio okay so operating profit ratio before finding out operating profit ratio we'll find out how much is a operating profit okay now let's find out how much is the operating profit first we will start with the net profit okay so how much is a net profit it's 3 crore 29 lakhs okay now we will see the debit and credit side and evaluate and find out what are non operating expenses okay so non operating expenses so gross profit okay credit side first first is sales okay it's a operating income closing stock again it's a part of your operating income then gross profit that is a carried forward adjustment then miscellaneous income now miscellaneous income is a non operating income so it is already included in your net profit so we'll reduce it 
so less miscellaneous income how much is that 50000 okay then profit on sale of investment again that is a non operating income so we'll reduce it so less profit on sale of investment okay how much is that 50000 interest and dividend from investments okay so less interest and dividend from investments how much is that one lakh again is nothing is given so we are assuming that interest and dividend from investments is a non-operating income okay so all the interest and dividend is from uh, your non-trading investments okay we are assuming it's a no, nothing is given okay and then we'll see all the debit side if there are any non-operating expenses so debit side we have opening stock it's operating then raw material consume again operating expense wages and salaries operating expense manufacturing expense operating then salaries is operating expense then to stationery is operating expense printing and advertisement again operating expense postage and telephone operating expense electricity operating expense selling and distribution operating expense interest again it's a operating expense so here this is how much say one three cross 29 lakhs minus two lakhs so three crore 27 lakh is your operating profit okay now we'll find out operating ratio okay so operating ratio is equal to here operating ratio is equal to operating profit upon sales into 100 so that is 3 cross 27 lakh divided by how much is how much is the sales amount 12 cross so divide by 12 cross into 100 so how much does that come to so 27.25 percentage this is your operating profit ratio okay so what does it show it shows the your ratio on the sales okay which is earned from your normal business okay so it doesn't have a in uh, it doesn't have a impact of any other non-operating income or expenses okay so that is all removed while calculating this operating ratio so this was about operating profit ratio. Thank you.